All right, y'all, let's go. Let me know. Y'all can hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me. Oh, but I said the sound was good. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go. So, anyway, as I was saying, um, let me let y'all know. Whenever y'all see me do anything that involves a live stream, whether it's, you know, strictly a live stream, like these expose series are that I've been doing, or whether uh, I'm doing a lecture, and uh, what you gonna call it? <clears throat> whether I'm doing a lecture and I'm live streaming it for y'all to see it at home. Either way it go, uh, the live stream is always available for 24 hours. So uh, if you can't watch it on the spot, <clears throat> if you can't watch it on the spot, or you got to be at work. Or whatever, that's cool. It's available for 24 hours from the time that it ends. So, my live streams normally be from like 1 to 8. Which means you have all the way till 8 o'clock the next day to basically watch the stream. And so, uh, I hope that that, you know, question uh, clears up any, uh, you know, any thoughts that y'all might have had in regards to, you know, are y'all going to be, you know, able to catch the stream. And so we're going to be going in on the motherfucking, uh, the evolution theory. I'm going to be busting that all the way down as I do everything. So y'all know how I'm rocking. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I'm coming. And it is what it is. And so I would like to say that, you know, uh, if you believe in the evolution theory, you know, long story short, you believe, you believe in fucking twilight. <laughs> you believe in twilight. You do, you probably a person who believes that vampires and turns into bats and shit. And so, it's not about to be no games being played, okay? <laughs> it's not about to be no games being played. If you believe a monkey turned into a person, you probably believe uh, motherfuckers turned into werewolves during goddamn full moons and shit. And so, I'm not, I'm not about to be playing with y'all. Y'all know I'm coming with that science. I'm coming with that fact, with them facts. And I'm coming with them, with them irrefutable genetic uh, point, uh, points of references. And so we finna mash Charles Darwin because he wasn't racist. He wasn't racist. So when I show y'all that he wasn't racist, when I show y'all the original cover of the book, see a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all never even seen the original cover of the book from 1859. You, a lot of y'all never even seen that book. A lot of y'all don't see that the don't don't even know that the book blatantly says favored racist. Huh? Y'all don't even know this man was a racist. Okay? And so we're talking about natural selection. Okay, what you have to understand is basically what Charles Darwin was saying was that monkeys turn into black people and then through the through God or the universe, uh in survival of the fittest, which is basically what natural natural selection is, black people turned into a greater form of themselves, which is white people. So this is what the evolution theory is teaching. That white people, since they're the most modern form and newest form of humanoid uh, existence on the planet Earth, they're the most strongest, superior form of physical existence. Okay? So the evolution theory was definitely uh, rooted in racism. That's why it's a fucking theory. It hasn't been proven. It's never been proven. Okay, I want to put that out there. <clears throat> it's never been proven. Let's put that on the wax. I don't give a fuck how much, uh, what you gonna call it? I don't give a fuck how much, how much you went to school and paid for, uh, I mean, paid for your whack ass tuition. I don't care about none of that. You're not gonna sit up here and tell me no god, t tell me nothing about no goddamn evolution, okay? If a man can't turn into a motherfucking werewolf on a full moon, if Dracula can't turn into a bat, okay, if Beast Boy can't turn into an elephant, a monkey can't turn into a man. I don't want to hear that shit, okay? And a lot of people don't have the proper uh, blueprint understanding 
of genetics. See, don't let these motherfucking dreadlocks and these tattoos fool you. Genetics is probably my most strongest area of teaching. Y'all know I came out teaching genetics. I came out with the black woman and God teaching genetics. From the metacentric to submetacentric chromosomes and all of that shit. So I came out on genetics and, 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 and metaphysics. And so a motherfucker not going to tell me nothing about no genetics. I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't have the amino acid uh, inventory or you don't have the proteins uh, con I mean, constructed within your genome or your DNA, you don't have the ability to produce certain characteristics. That's just a fact. Now, let me give you let me give y'all an example. And these are just like I'm just throwing shit out there. I'm going to go all the way in tomorrow. A, 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 a venomous snake, right? Do you think? All, venom, all venomous snakes just started off venomous? No. Hell no. Okay? Hell no. A uh, venom inside of snakes originally started off as a fluid in their stomach that helped them to be protected from harmful bacteria when they ate their prey. Because let's say something like a mouse, right? Everybody know the basic uh, hygienic status of a mouse. You know, mouses... Or, or rats carry all of these germs. You know, this is how fucking Europe had the dark age and everybody was dying from what they thought was the black plague, but it was really just zoonotic diseases that they was getting from rodents and shit like that. And so we know that mouses and rats is filthy, okay? And so what happened with the with the animals that preyed upon other animals like rats and mouses was the, the uh, fluids in a stomach, okay? Eventually, over time, began to become more potent and the proteins which produce these fluids began to evolve okay to where they not only uh affected the the rat in regards to let's say uh sterilizing them from harmful bacteria but they began to become more potent and shutting down the nervous system of the animals that the snake preyed upon so eventually this stomach fluid that existed in the snake began to transmute into what we today, <coughs> excuse me, call, uh, it, it, I mean, excuse me, began to transmute into what we, call, what we today call venom. And so with that being said, that is evolution, all right? That is evolution. That's the only way evolution is taking place, is within a species, okay? And so with that being said, mice, mouses, whatever, all right? It's 12.32 a.m. over here. I'm motherfucking tired, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm getting at. That is the only way evolution is taking place. Within the same species of the organism, okay? Now, what's happening is a lot of y'all is getting evolution confused with Darwinism, okay? Evolution is when the proteins within a species, okay, Evolve because remember your DNA is intelligent. It's DNA and RNA. It's DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. RNA is ribonucleic acid. Okay, your RNA is computing your individual experience, and then it's delivering that experience back to your DNA, and then your and then your DNA upgrades itself to best suit you for the environment in regards to the information it received from your RNA that you're existing in. So that is evolution. Okay. If my RNA is saying I'm currently walking up a hill 90% of my life and then it's telling that to my DNA, then my DNA is going to make my body and my legs more equipped to be able to walk up hills. And I'm going to pass that down to my children. That's evolution. Darwinism is not evolution. Okay? The evolution theory is the understanding of how evolution takes place with 95% of bullshit coming from Charles Darwin on top of that science. We know that DNA upgrades itself to help suit you in your environment. Darwinism is the theory that your DNA not only evolves, this shit changes completely and can change you into another motherfucking species. Okay? So when you hear niggas talking about the evolution theory, these niggas is talking about Darwinism. Okay? These niggas is not, nigga, we know what evolution is. Ain't nobody stupid out this bitch. We know what evolution is. Y'all not talking about evolution. Y'all motherfuckers is talking about Darwinism. 
the evolution theory is based off Darwinism with a little bit of evolutional science in it. And so this is why niggas be so clamped onto the evolution theory because some of the shit is, I mean, excuse me, some of the science sounds true because it is true. The only problem is you're applying true shit in fantasy-based subjects. One plus one is two. But you niggas is trying to make one plus one three. Yeah, your DNA changes and helps you adapt to your environment. Everybody fucking know that. But your DNA don't metamorph you into no whole other fucking species. What are you talking about? You niggas is taking one small fact and turning this shit into a hot air balloon and trying to sail across the goddamn planet Earth with this weak-ass fantasy that y'all have. And I'm not going for that. And so I will be breaking you niggas, uh, I will be breaking you niggas next tomorrow at 1 p.m. I won't be playing no game. Let me see. I might give you one, I might give you one small taste. See, because I'm not going to play with your ass at all. Nigga, we going into eugenics too. We going into eugenics too, okay? We going into eugenics too. Racist ass eugenics. See, this is my thing. It's 2019. If y'all still holding on to shit that come from anything that came out post-slavery, you out of your fucking mind. You're not gonna tell me to. You're not gonna tell me to allow myself to be mentally guided, okay, by anybody who was a racist or existed during a racist time. That's not gonna happen to me. See, see, and then and then a motherfucker might say a motherfucker today might say, well, not all white people is racist. Not all white people are racist. I agree, but goddamn it, I'm not listening to no white person from no 1700s. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Okay, a white talking to a white person from the 1700s is a whole nother type of conversation versus talking to a white person from today. So you're not gonna sit up in this motherfucker and tell me, no goddamn, oh such and such said this shit back in 17 such and such. Get that shit out my face. Get that shit out my face. That's like asking, that's like asking, <clears throat> that's like asking a white person to have a conversation with Louis Farrakhan in 1971. How the fuck you think that conversation about to go? How you think that conversation about to go? It ain't about to go too well. So you not about to y'all niggas gotta miss me with that bullshit. And then and then y'all and then it's like on one hand, on one hand, y'all wanna uh y'all wanna be so pro the world and and pro everything, and then on the other hand, you wanna subscribe me. To the teachings of somebody who probably would have lynched me if they had the chance. We not. What is y'all talking about? So we got to be fair with the shit. You got to be fair. I'm very fair. Y'all know how I write. I'm very fair. And so not only can and then and then I'm gonna say this too. Okay. Charles Darwin had no understanding of genetics at this time. Okay. Charles Darwin had no understanding of genetics at this time. That's all I'm gonna say. So the fact that we know that. Well, I'm not making that up. We know that. The fact that a nigga who had no education, no knowledge of genetics can speak on the genetic origins of all species. If you, if you, that's like, a, would you let a nigga who don't know the law represent you in court? Hell no. Hell no. If you know, if, if you, would you let a motherfucker who don't know the law represent you in court? Would you go hire a crackhead to be your lawyer? No. Why would you allow Charles Darwin to be your science teacher. And this motherfucker had zero knowledge of genetics. Come on, man. Y'all got to miss me with that bullshit. Y'all got to miss me. You 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 got to miss me. Get your ticket. Get your live stream tickets. The link is in my bio. Get your live stream tickets. The link is in my bio. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I'm going to tell y'all right now. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's not going to be nice. Okay? It ain't going to be nice. It ain't going to be nice. It might hurt your feelings. It might hurt your feelings. I'm telling y'all that now. I try to be as... I try to be as... uh, I'm looking for... A, I try to be as balanced and as neutral as possible. I understand I have a vast following that has that has made its way beyond the black community. But I do want to say this. It, it's going to hurt your motherfucking feelings. If you, it may potentially hurt your feelings if you're in the building depending upon who you are and depending upon what you believe, okay? 
That's just the war. I'm just war. I'm just telling you now. I'm just telling you now. It might hurt your feelings. But, um, you know that, Derek. I'm warning you. Shit. All right? Shit. Now, here we go. <clears throat> Let me see. Now I'm not even going. I'm not even going to show y'all nothing. Get y'all got to get in the building. Y'all got to get in the building. Y'all got to get in the building. Okay. Y'all got to get in the building. 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 All right. Let me see. Do I got anybody in here who believes the evolution theory is true? I'm not going to give y'all no snippet. I was going to give y'all a snippet. Okay, I was going to give y'all a snippet. But I'm not going to do that. Y'all got to get in the building. Y'all got to get in the building. Y'all got to get in the building. <clears throat> y'all got to get in the building. Do I got anybody in here who believe in the, in the evolution theory? Cause I'll let you, I'll give you, I'll give you five minutes to come on this motherfucker and shine. If you do, please come on and please come on here and tell us why you believe. <laughs> please come on here and tell us why you believe that a monkey turned into you. Okay, because if if that's the case, I should be able to call you a motherfucking monkey. If that's the case, don't get mad at me. If I say you monkey ass, it, your mama was a monkey. Technically, I'm right. If that's the case, okay. So let's let let me know. Let me know if y'all fit. Let me know if anybody out there believe in the evolution theory. I'm glad. I'm glad. Don't nobody in here believe in evolution theory. We all on one accord. I'm glad we all on one accord. Who who believe that race don't matter? I've been seeing that a lot in here. I've been seeing that a lot in here. Who believes that race doesn't matter? Who believes that race doesn't matter? <clears throat> who believe that race don't matter? I w who who believe that race don't matter? I agree. I do believe that certain people on the planet Earth was genetically spliced. And that's that's uh, amazing for me to see. Uh, I don't really know your ethnicity, so I won't make it up. But what what, what it looks like to be a Caucasian person say that? It, it's amazing for me to see a Caucasian person in here say that they understand that to be their origin. Because I've been saying that for like three years, and people look at me like I'm crazy when I say that I believe <clears throat> extraterrestrial splice a certain aspect of people, whether you want to call them angels or whatever. But let me see, who who believe that race don't matter? Who believe that race don't matter? And you mature. Don't come on here being an asshole. Okay, I don't want no assholes on here. We're not doing no asshole vibe. If you genuinely, honestly believe that race doesn't matter, okay, if you genuinely, honestly believe that race doesn't matter, let me know. Pull up on here, and I will give you your, your chance to explain why. Okay? Now, I'm not going to be too long. I'm not going to be too long. And if y'all if y'all want y'all tickets, all right, go in my bio, click it, uh, click on youngthrill.tickleap.com. And uh, what you gonna call it? Purchase your tickets. Listen, I didn't did a whole lecture and multiple videos on gene splicing. I broke down the exact uh, gene. Uh, I broke down what you gonna call it the the exact enzyme that was used to splice the gene. I didn't did all of this shit a thousand times, bro. Uh, just remind me, I do another live stream on it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm not going to do it right now. Who believe that race doesn't matter? Who want to come on here and say, uh, what you going to call it? Why race doesn't matter? Okay, I'm going to bring on Okie the Goat. Okie the Goat. Okie the Goat. 
Okie the goat. Let me see if you want to come on it, cause I think you're making a, a point that I, that's good. But I would like to actually say that I don't, I don't totally agree with you. So I, we're not even gonna debate. I just want to hear your your point of view and share my point of view. But I think you're making a good point of view. So if you want to come on, all right, let me know. If you want to come on, jump in the request, and I got you. Because I believe that race matter, and I believe that race matters on every level, including spirituality. I think that race matters the most on the level of spirituality. I think that people should stop trying to be positive in a way that's making them ignorant. You don't got to be so positive that you got to denote your own greatness. I'm not going to denote my greatness for a motherfucker. Hell yeah, race matter. It matter, it matter, it matter the most in regards to spirituality. So everybody ain't got the same form of spirituality. Everybody don't, everybody don't got the same ancestors. I don't pray to who other races pray to. That's damn sure what. That's what make me me. My ancestors and, and the motherfuckers I descend from ain't got shit to do with no Chinese people. The, the, my spirit guys and the angels that look after me. Ain't got shit to do with no white people. So when motherfuckers say, why do race matter and we all spiritual? Hell no, we ain't all spiritual. My ancestors ain't your ancestors. My my demons ain't even your demons. My demons ain't even your demons. My 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 angels ain't your angels. Y'all got a everybody else got a whole nother bracket of spiritual beings that they deal with. That ain't got shit to do with me. And you connect it through interdimensional entities through your DNA. That's a fact. So when motherfuckers say, what do race got to do with spirituality? Everything. Because your ancestors speak, <coughs> excuse me, your ancestors speak to you through your blood, a.k.a. your DNA. You can literally receive messages through radio frequencies, a.k.a. cymatics, through your DNA. That's a fact. And so the, the entity that's talking to me, they ain't talking to motherfucking Donald Trump. And the entity that's talking to Donald Trump ain't talking to me. And so when people say, what do race got to do with, uh, you know, spirituality, that shit got to do everything to do with spirituality. So I don't, so, you know, I don't know if that's like some pacifist statement that people make, you know, but, but we got to respect each other's existence. Period. That's like telling the, that's like a grizzly bear telling a polar bear, well, what what the snow got to do with me? Everything, motherfucker, you not a polar bear. The snow is what the snow in the cold climate is what make the polar bear great. You not going to take the po the polar bear should not have to come out his element or her element to please you. Hell fucking no. I'm not coming out my element to please you cuz I don't expect nobody else to come out their element their element to please me. <clears throat> the problem, I'm going to tell you what the problem is with the average black person. We we afraid, we afraid to do something that we feel white people won't agree with because we so used to being attacked. So we we afraid to, to look at white people and say, I don't agree with that, even if it's not harsh or it's not in a hostile manner. We afraid to look at white people and say, I don't give a fuck about Jesus Christ. You can, I don't. We don't get... We, so, so, so niggas start saying shit like, what does race have to do with spirituality? Every fucking thing. It got everything to do with it. Every goddamn thing. White people got their set of deities that they, that they, that they, that they vibrate with. Okay? I don't expect them to look at me and say, oh, you know, I'm going to give up my spiritual foundation to try to agree with you or cope with you. Hell no. I wouldn't even respect a motherfucker who would do that. Why would you do that for me? Why would you do that? Why would you give up what makes you spiritually evolved for me? Why would you do that? Hell no. Because I'm not. I'm damn sure not going to do that for nobody. And my thing is, I'm not. I don't try to target people. I'm just speaking in general. I know who the, where the fuck I come from. I know who my ancestors is. So I'm not going to give that up. For a motherfucker, not no Virgin Mary, not no Jesus, not no Muhammad, not no motherfucking Baphomet, not no, not any of these other deities you motherfuckers want to pray to, none of that. 
I know where my, I know who mine is and where mine's come from. So when a motherfucker say, "What do race got to do with spirituality?" That's like some that's borderline some coon shit or something. I don't know. I'm not trying to attack the brother who said that. I'm just going at the statement. I can't really understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because I can scientifically prove that your race genetically okay is associated with certain spiritual deities that's just a fact that's a fact it's not no run it's not no i'm not making this shit up i'm not on here uh what you call it speaking out my ass that is a fact and so i don't really understand why people say that <clears throat> i don't really understand why people say that period i really don't understand <clears throat> why people say that Unless it, unless they trying to be like a pacifist or something like that. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. Who want to come in here? Who said they want to come in here? Who said they want to come in here? Who said they want to come in here? All right, let me see. Right, I'm going to pull up Brian. I'm going to pull up Brian. Let's try to be as quick because I got to get up in the morning and get this presentation, so I don't want to be on here late. But I actually might do a live stream uh, dedicated Get it. What's up with you, bro? Oh, what's up, Pharaoh? Cool. I remember you. You pulled up on here before, too. Facts. It's been a minute, but hell yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, so I'm a, like I was saying, I'm going to try not to... Man, let me fix my damn screen. I'm going to try not to be too long because I got to get up and get this presentation, but I think one of these nights, probably Monday night, <clears throat> I'm going to just do a live stream where we just had these kind of discussions, but what's up with it? I was thinking about what you said, and, like, before you said that, like, I was thinking it don't matter in the context of, like, if I walk up to somebody, you know, like, just trying to be nice, you know, it don't matter because we're all human or whatever. Right. But then I'm thinking it do matter in the context of, like, what you said, but I was thinking I have this sort of view that um everything in life's a concept. Okay. Like, and everything can be, like, emotions or qualities, like people, you know what I mean? Right. It can be broken down to quality. So, every like, the Bible, the Quran, Quran, whatever, all that, it's, it's all, like, what's it called? Your interpretation of it, you know right. what I mean? Qualities of... So, it's all kind of the same thing, just their interpretation. Right. And then, like you said about the polar bear and the brown bear, like, why would I argue about you? Why I need, because of the snow, like, duh, I live in the snow. But Yeah, that's a fact. So, like, over time, we can build <laughs> all of those things you name, like them deities and stuff. They didn't come from the sky. Well, maybe they did, but you know what I mean? We wrote them down. It's all our interpretation. So, like, Maybe that's because you stayed in that place for so long that became your staircase, like your stairs for spirituality. Right. But I was thinking, I don't know, that's just how I seen it. Well, I get where you're going with it, and I would agree to a certain percent, and this is where I would agree. See, you thinking of it from a, a humanitarian point of view. Facts. See? I feel that. And then, and then, and then you got to be honest with yourself, too. You white. So you have an extra pressure to be. A <laughs> no, that's true though, because you gotta. What you don't want to offend nobody, even if. Right, you got an extra. I'm just saying. I'm see, see, we like I said. I try to be. Uh, real. Just uh, try yeah, to be. I try to be a true, a true, a neutral, true speaker. You white, so you have an extra pressure on your head. On your, you got an extra like target on your head to prove. Hey, but I'm cool with the brothers, bro. I will be playing basketball like every Sunday. Right, but I'm just, in life. It's just life. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you say something. 
it got it's like a hey, I, I'm for everybody. You it's like it's either it's like there's really yeah. no middle line for you. So with that being said, I understand what you're saying from a humanitarian point of view. And so right. what, what we have to somehow do, um, which I don't know, I think I do a pretty good job of it. Now you have do, to some, yeah, what we have to somehow do is say, you know what? Jot, jotting out the shit that's already been put in front of us for us to fight over. Let's just get straight to the truth. No ego. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, no e. Let's just get straight to the facts and let the facts speak for themselves. So, uh, with that what being said, this is why I say, like, you know, race matters. Because I'm not saying race matters from no. A racist point of view. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it from, like, some Louis Farrakhan, I'm just talking bullshit in your ear, trying to look good and hype you up. I'm saying Thanks. from a, a scientific, factual point of view, of course my perspective is black because I'm black, so that's going to go with the perspective. But being as fair as I can, it would be wrong for me to say to anybody, your race does not matter, especially spiritually, when yes, it do, because that's where the fuck... If if I'm like I said, if I'm Chinese, who do I get my inspiration from? My oh no, you send them lint. Yeah, my ancestors. So the first thing that you gonna think your ancestors look like is you. You know what I'm saying? So if I say that's your template, that's your template of how you live your life. So if I say, you know what, as a white person, your ancestors was Puerto Rican, you gonna be like what? The fuck is you yeah, I'm gonna be slightly confused. Yeah, it's gonna, like, and it's gonna fuck up. It's gonna fuck up your motivation for life. You're not gonna be able to draw strength. So it's like if, if you look at even even look at speaking on my people behalf, the majority of my people pray to a white dude or they pray to a, a Arab. So with that being said, we don't have no when when people say why black people don't love each other or don't spiritually bond with each other. We don't even bond with a black person spiritually. We like white Jesus and we like a rap Muhammad. So, so you can't ask a motherfucker uh, to to consciously do something that they don't subconsciously do when subconscious when your subconscious they self, disconnect yourself from it. Right, and so like I said, a motherfucker might say, "Uh, Jesus not real and this, that, and the third, which I agree he's not." But if you look at the majority of deities that white people pray to, even Baphomet, Baphomet is still a white, a white guy. So I thought so, he was a goat. It's a white guy with breasts and a goat head. But either way it goes, oh, it's, like okay. a, it's still he got a white chest though. Damn it! Yeah, the point I'm trying to make is still we can still see it's, it's European. So the point I'm trying to make is, no matter what a motherfucker say, white people believe in, you see the unity because they spiritual deities reflect what they look like. So whether a white Fact. person pray to Jesus, whether he pray to Virgin Mary, whether a white man pray to fucking Baphomet, whether he Ooh. pray to whoever, you can see the unity in white people because they spiritual idol look like them. You can't. You don't believe. Really, what you say? My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. I will, like you said, Virgin Mary. It made me think about something because I'd be studying like <clears throat> real African stuff. Like y'all come from like Egypt, you know. The, Kermit people, or however you say it. Kermit. I'm going to say it wrong, yeah. Um, how that came from chemistry. They got chemistry from that, all kinds of stuff. Right. And, like, the re the real first Virgin Mary was Ethiopian. They stole it from the first church. Well. It was, like, carved into the ground. Yeah. So they, they kind of hijacked a lot of stuff, though. Let me, and let they me, just painted them white. Let me let me ask you a question, and and these are these yeah. are the conversations that I'm glad I I got my I got myself to a mature enough state to have, because I feel that uh me knowing what I know and having the virtue that I have I could break barriers that the average person can't break. So let me ask you a question, right? As a white person, right? Yeah. How do you feel? Not knowing that, and 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 I let me let me get a blueprint. Let me get a context of what I'm asking before I ask you. All right. I'm not asking you this question to negate that there are assholes on the planet, whether they be black, white, whatever. So I'm not because there is some ass. There's some niggas I don't like. So I'm not gonna ask you to speak in favor of all niggas because there's niggas that I don't even. Like. I wouldn't do that. But the question I'm asking you is the reason I'm asking you is as a white person, right? For you yeah. to say, damn. 
whoever they are. You, you don't know them personally, but just apparently white people who run the government, whoever they are who runs the educational system and all of the shit, for them to have hid so much history and information about black people, how does that make you think about uh, society or your own people today in regards to just the status? All right, I got you. Well, me, I don't, I don't consider myself an ordinary white person. Okay. So, but, nah, it made me question them a lot. And I want to disconnect from them because also I don't want to be associated with their guilt. You know what I mean? That's common sense. Just like if your family was thieves and you you didn't steal shit, you wouldn't want to be like, but I never stole nothing. Right. So I can feel to escape guilt, you know, I feel like that. That's just honest. But also, it made me want to say, it made me just question a lot, like you said. Right. Like, I wonder why. You know what I mean? It made me, I don't know how to say. Listen, it made I, me I, really like, if they were all wearing, like, black T-shirts, I would want to wear white. I, like, I wouldn't want to be... I would be like, ah, oh, fuck y'all. <laughs> right. See, and I'm not I'm not asking you that question from... Like I said, even though I don't have to, I just feel it's, it's just... It's, 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 a, it's, it's just what you should do to keep reinstating your point. I, I'm not asking you that question to try to get you on here as a white person to say anything bad about other white people. I'm just asking you this question so that thoughts on a mature level could start to come out in the public eye to hopefully to, yeah, to hopefully try to create a form of evolution in society today. And so right, right, right. So that's why I'm asking you the question because it's like if a if a person asks me, how do you feel when you watch Love and Hip Hop? <laughs> I, would, I would tell you I'm fucking embarrassed. But I'm, that I'm that my opinion on that is like that's just like that's just like a um one part of like black people's lives just scoped in on for a TV show like because right but I now, now, now do you now do you know how crazy it is that you say that because what? you know that but we don't know that because I be around white people white people because I'm really friendly so and, I just and that, and right that's, fra- that's why and this is why this conversation is 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 it needs to be had on a broader scale because you know that as a white person. But as black people, we don't know that because you, <gasps> we, we see that's all we that's all we see of ourselves. If you look at conscious, what what makes Young Pharaoh so special? Because I'm, like the, I'm, the, I'm literally the only motherfucker out here as a black man who got their head on straight. And so it's yeah. it's, it's, it's 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 it's. And you boxing, you you be doing a lot of stuff, bro. Oh, and yo, bro, let me put y'all on a mixtape, bro. Go listen to We Ball. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah, I went hard on that. But you tell us, <laughs> bro, that's not no homo or nothing. It it made me cry. No, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Because that's I felt some, I felt some pain. I'm not gonna speak on it on the live, but like, I felt it, bro. I was like. Bus burn from that pistol couldn't leave without it. See, that's that ain't love. fire, bro. Yeah, that's the vibe. Listen, that's I just put real shit on the track, bro. I couldn't relate to that part. I don't take no guns outside, but some of the other stuff I could. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, whatever. God, that's love. That's love. I appreciate that. Motherfucking, no what's the damn? I had a second question too. Hold on, give me two seconds to drop my brain. Your first one was, right. how do you feel knowing that? Okay, the second one was, um, let me see. Damn, bro, I forgot my second question. It'll come up. But anyway. It'll come back. <clears throat> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, this is my question. Just came back. Do you feel, because I want to, the reason I'm saying that, <clears throat> the reason I'm going to say this question, because I want to always yeah. give you where I'm coming from before it just come out. So, yes, yeah, so I don't feel offended. Right, 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 exactly. I study like the civil rights movement in detail to where nobody else studies it. Like this, this is how I know Louis Farrakhan. And from your state of mind, because you know right. the way you study stuff from like one point, it matters. Right, exactly. So I know everybody who was a Freemason. I know everybody who was a piece of shit. And so one thing, <laughs> one thing I do know about Malcolm X that nobody likes to say, and I'm actually going to uh, bring this out in my documentary I do when I expose the nation of Islam. Malcolm X was not a racist like motherfuckers try to show. Like, for example, will you ever see the Malcolm X movie where the white lady 
walked up on him and she was like, what can I do to help? And he was like, nothing. No, but for investigating purposes, I'm just going to rock with it, yeah. Okay, well, they had like a clip of that in the movie. But that's not true. I actually studied Malcolm X. And basically, Malcolm yeah. X said in the interview with the press was, of course, he was pro-black, but he wanted black people to be sufficient for themselves outside of the help of another race, which any race should do. I wouldn't want white people to be dependent on me. So I wouldn't want myself to be dependent on white people or Chinese people or nobody. So that's common sense. But uh, Malcolm X also said that as long as any other race or nation was genuinely uh, in support of black people trying to do better for themselves, he could fuck with you. And so knowing knowing this true mind frame of Malcolm X is what made me start start what I call the pro-righteous movement. This is when I started telling motherfuckers, I'm not with that pro-black shit. Plus, I started seeing all of the crazy shit going on in the conscious community. But outside of that, when I really learned... They are some weirdos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I really learned this aspect of Malcolm X and seeing how Ma Malcolm X was checking other black corrupt people in his community, it, it made me develop a deep a deeper respect for him and I, I just realized how much in the middle of a war he was in at that time because not only was he dealing with uh let's say racist white people he was dealing with demonic niggas at the same time and so the point i'm trying to make is this this leads me to to my next and last question uh as a white person if if black people was basically saying we're not attacking you you know, we're not really doing nothing to try to make ourselves look like a threat, but we just basically doing for ourselves individually. Do you feel that you would feel that that was a threat to you? Or if not, do you feel that, 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 that basically, you know, your demographic of people will feel that it's a threat to them? And if so, why? I'm going to answer that with some wisdom and with some, like, facts, like you just said. All right, go ahead. All right, we're we'll Whatever that word, you know, mean all, all white people. Nah, they're going to bug out. They're going to be like, why they they stepping back for a reason. You know what I mean? Because that's just how people think. Like, basically, if somebody lives in your house and then one day they get their stuff and they're like, I'm leaving. Not for no reason. Like, they think you got like a backup plan or something. Right. But I learned, like, through my time in life, I don't know how to word it real good. But if someone, like, let's say... Let's say I sit, I don't know how to word it. But if I just basically, I'm not doing nothing to you like you just said, but yeah. I just move away, it's only guilt or like something in my mind or attachment that's going to make me feel like you have a plan. Right. Like if you stop fucking with me for no reason, I might think you have a plan, but that might just be because I'm your close friend, so I'm like, why are you moving? Right. See, the reason I asked you that question is because the only way the world will become a better place <clears throat> is if everybody mind their goddamn business. Smoke and a that's blunt. Just, that's just a fact. Yeah, and smoke a blunt. And so, smoking. Oh, blunts, and eat some munchy food. Yeah, listen, eating hey. munchy food, smoking blunts, and minding your business is the Ooh. only way the world go go become a better place. Can I put the live on real quick? It takes thirty seconds. You said a the blunt. Live? The live. I gotta put okay. them on. You need a blunt. You need one bad girl, bro. You need some, some push-ups, some video games, and a set of weights. Look, bro, I'm already on that. Look, you know, I got my barbell out here getting swole. Look, video games. I'm not going to sell y'all no uh, drugs on the live, but. Yeah, they're going to flag me. Not on this one. Niggas be waiting to flag this shit. But uh, Look, one more thing. I'm going to flex. Crap. I got a spear in my room, bro. You, you know, talking about ancestors, you know, biking game. <laughs> See? See, now look, you just made a good point before I even say what I was going to say. Now, you see how you said Viking game and reference your ancestors? That's, yeah. your insp that's your inspiration. I would never try to tell you, hey, don't you reference Vikings or hell no. See, now, now my only thing is it has to become a comfortable spot in society for us to do the same thing. It's, it's, no, it's no reason why in college, if me and you in the classroom – intellectually, you referencing Socrates and Plato, and then I'm referencing Socrates and Plato. It's not going It's not gonna work for me. I got to be able to reference Imhotep. I got to be able to reference Akhenaten. I got to be able to reference, you know, deities that look like... Law. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm... That's I'm, my favorite one. 
Right. So right. exactly. So I'm glad you made that point because it it just it just helped me prove a healthy point. And so society has to get not society because it's our job to create our own comfortable spaces no matter who you are. So we gonna have to basically, you know, create a pocket in society where <clears throat> we comfortable being ourselves. Everybody all across the board. Mm -hmm. What if I don't want to call out my ancestors? Because some of them Viking shits be weird. I just vibe with the like spears and the axes and stuff. Listen, like, some of them... that's that's listen. The details of it is 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 uh you know neither here nor there at this point. I'm just giving the the outline of the point I'm trying to make. But this is the last question I want to ask you because I always say I don't plan on being a lot long and I be long. So this is the last question I wanted to uh I mean the last point mm -hmm. I wanted to make. What's up? That last question. Uh, the world one day is going to have to, well, black people specifically, uh, we're going to come into, we're going to have to come to a point where we're going to have to become self-sufficient. But what's going to make or break us is if we allow, I'm going to just call it like it is, is if we allow Freemasons and motherfuckers who run the country to influence us to have to do that in a manner where we slit our own throats. Now, let me give you an example. Hold on, what? It's, I'm going to give you an example, right? If black people one day was to say, you know what, we doing what we got to do for ourselves and we minding our business. That's, on one, mission. that's one thing. So now if, okay. a right, so if a motherfucker pull up on us, no matter who it is, it could be a, the Arab community, Korean community, whoever. If a motherfucker pull up on us and they say, hey, we, we got a problem with that. Now we justify, at least, and we can say we defending ourselves. But if you allow a motherfucker that's like a known Freemason, such as Louis Farrakhan, to yeah. if, if we allow somebody like him to convince us that in order to do for ourselves, we have to basically go start a fight with somebody else, then we going to fuck up building for ourselves. And I say that, I say that mm. to say this. That's like... If anybody who ever been in the streets, you know that you can't beef and get money at the same time. That's not going to work. So yeah, you if, can't. You have to have war time and then production time. Exactly. Those two don't. Yeah. Exactly. So now what's happening is you got, and the reason that niggas think that 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 a certain tactic is going to produce results is because they they follow in the Luciferian doctrine of chaos brings order. So a nigga think, <clears throat> niggas think if if you if you listen to a dumbass like Farrakhan, and you go to war with motherfuckers. It's going to better your community. But if you smash your own fucking community, you ain't going to have nothing to build. And so, my thing, and so my thing is, I've just been trying to psychologically engineer the most healthiest way <clears throat> that a black person could do for themselves, meanwhile still having their integrity, meanwhile still not cooning, and meanwhile uh, not being a, 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 a demon to other life forms. You know, and, and, and people got to understand the difference between self-defense and starting shit. And so my thing is, okay, black people have to be able to say, you know what, uh, and I'm going to end on this. Black people have to be able to say, you know what, we know what the fuck every race then did, right? And, and, and my thing is this, I know history so much that I know slavery started with Arabs. So even when it comes the to... The Barbie slave trade thing. The yeah, exactly. exactly. So my thing is this, even when it comes to white people, I feel like... um. If we gonna start beef with anybody, let's just start it with the Arabs first, cause they started the shit. And so I feel they like they still going at it. Yeah, but niggas don't. Niggas still got DJ Khaled on their song screaming, "We the best," and don't nobody got a problem with that. Niggas still go to the corner store and get a Dutch from from Abu and them boys. And so hold on, time like, out. You gonna have to inform me on that. The Dutches are evil. Uh. Oh so, man. Listen, listen, certain Freemasonic families. Matter of fact, I've been uh, seeing it, bro. Uh, What's his name? Damn, I just went in on these motherfuckers. Sci the Scientology dude. Damn. Who Tom Cruise. They? No, who did I just go on and they and they and they family last name start with it? Hubbard. The Hubbard the Hubbards was Dutch. And oh they, yeah. Yeah, and they owned slaves. You better believe Dang, it. I gotta stop. You just hurt my feelings, bro. Listen, bro. Wrong, you gotta, listen, to... listen, I, you gotta do your research. But uh into my point. My point is Black people have to get to the point where we say, this is what we believe. Fuck believe. This is what we know. This is what we stand on. And <clears throat> we minding our business. If you don't come fucking with us, we ain't fucking with you. If you peaceful, right. we peaceful. This is why I tell people, I treat a motherfucker how they treat me. And just because I know certain things, 
don't mean I have to weaponize my mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on here this motherfucker arguing with you right now because I know certain shit. You ain't fucking you're trying with to do, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you ain't fucking with me. I ain't fucking with you. So people gotta people gotta learn that it, it's it's just a it's just a certain you know egotistical dis disattachment you got to do with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like I know truth to the point where I know that I'm the only motherfucker who can control my reality. Now I'm not gonna never negate or give a nigga no pass for what they've done, but ain't no I'm not gonna wake up in the morning start hell shit bent, hell bent on you know rage with another person because that's taking yeah. away what I could be doing for me. And so I feel like, okay, now that I know how the world is set up, now that I know who runs the world, now that I know history, now that I know science, how can I apply that shit to where I can actually potentially build, if not a fucking community, at least a, a individual household <coughs> that can thrive spiritually and defend itself. And so with that being said, that's my whole point, but I just wanted to say that, and I'm, I'm glad you came on here because I ended up being able to ask you some, <coughs> some good que good questions. Excuse me, I gotta, I'm getting over this cold. Hey, but I got one point to say about how you were saying that y'all got to run yourself kind of, or anybody. Go ahead. <clears throat> That's like your cousin coming over and being <clears throat> your dad. That's right. Like, yeah, y'all family, but, like, you're not supposed to, I got to have run my own house. That's right. That's like... That's pretty much it. Yeah, that, and that's the truth. And so, and and so, and, and I'm a, <clears throat> you know, ending on this. We we ask ourselves as, because I don't believe that. Well, excuse me, I don't not believe. I know we're not all the same race. That's just common sense. So that being yeah, we said, know. right, exactly. And so I'm glad there's a can, lot of different stuff I'm, in that. So I'm glad we can agree on that as a white and a black person without people losing their fucking minds. Hey, air that me up. Air that me up, bro. Yeah, exactly. Piled you up, hey. Kevin. Yeah, and without people losing their minds in regards to us agreeing that we're not the same race. Like goddamn like and I think people and, and that's just like that's just like people be so thirsty for peace that they that they would negate their own indiv individuality. But and say we not different races. Like how the fuck we not different races, motherfucker? Don't you look at pe other people every day but and see they that need they a book. Common sense will tell you that we're not all the same race. But, hey, with, that, but with that being said, um, I'm glad you pulled up because I was able to ask you uh, some questions that I can't really ask the average person because they 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 not from a separate community from me or they don't they, right. So this is definitely a, a pop of combo, and I'm gonna definitely make this a thing. I think I'm gonna start pulling up uh, more non-black people and creating uh, other topics that, and, and having discussions like this because I think hey, this is, I'm the OG of the non-black people. Hey, just it. remember that. Y'all heard what he said, right? It's OG, OG non-black non right here. You heard? Ooh, OG, OG non-black. OG non-black, I got you. Listen, bro, have a All good right, night, bro. though, you heard? You too, bro. Stay safe. Love. All right, y'all. And I'm going to get ready to end this live stream, but I'm going to say this before I end the live stream, right? I'm going to say this before I end the live stream. I feel that I need to say this, even though this was a minute ago. When somebody pull up on my live, okay, if they don't come on here being disrespectful, do not get crazy in my comments. I will block you. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Do not do that. If somebody come on here being disrespectful, light they ass up. If they not being disrespectful, do not get crazy. I don't give a fuck how long you've been following me. I don't give a fuck how much you think we friends on this motherfucker. I will block you. I don't play disrespect with myself. Therefore, I'm not going to let nobody ever be subjected to disrespect. Don't come on this motherfucker in my comments. This is not World Star Hip Hop Live. This is not fucking Nation of Islam Live. This ain't none of these niggas lives that y'all be on. This is Young Feral Live. This is a positive environment. Even when I slay niggas on here, y'all know niggas be starting or niggas be doing shit that they need to get exposed for. Other than that, don't come on my shit being disrespectful. I don't give a fuck who come on this bitch. I don't give a fuck if a goddamn Ku Klux Klan member come on this motherfucker. If you don't come on this bitch being crazy, then don't get crazy in my comments. Period. Period. And this is why, this is why we can't go nowhere. Because motherfuckers don't know how to have a fucking civilized, intelligent 
non-confrontational conversation. Period. God damn. And so y'all motherfuckers gotta stop doing that. That shit aggravate the fuck out of me. Because what it what, what it is, what y'all not realizing is this. This not y'all platform. This my platform. So y'all not running motherfuckers away from coming on your Instagram live. You running motherfuckers away from coming on mine. So if if, if I want to go live with a person that's not black, the first thing they're going to think of is, oh, hell no, I'm not going live with Young Pharaoh because his comments is out of control. And everybody don't got, everybody not built like that psychologically and emotionally to be, to be, to be humiliated on social media. So y'all not violating y'all Instagram. Y'all not degrading y'all Instagram. Y'all degrading mine. Have respect for my platform. I, I, I open this shit up to the community more than any motherfucker has ever done in the history of life. Do not come on this motherfucker being disrespectful. We not gonna do that or I'm gonna block this shit out of you and I'm not gonna unblock you. Don't DM me crying like a bitch talking about why I block you out my life. I don't give a fuck. Do not come on this motherfucker being disrespectful if somebody don't come on here being disrespectful first. This is not your motherfucking platform. You are not degrading your whack-ass Instagram. You're degrading mine, okay? And you're going to be running people away from going live with me. You're going to be making people scared to go live with me because of what the fuck you could be potentially saying, okay, in the comments, okay? Look, I got somebody in the comments right now saying they worried about coming on because of that. We're not doing that. <clears throat> We're not doing that. If somebody come on here and say something that's non-factual, I trust that y'all know that I'm not going to let this shit fly. I trust that y'all know I'm I'm uh, intellectual enough to say, hey, that's not correct. Or, hey, this is what it is. Y'all don't got to be in the comments, you know, trying to get your rocks off and do extra shit for no reason. And so with that being said, you know y'all have a beautiful night, y'all. I'm not mad at y'all. I ain't tripping, okay, or none of that. I'm just letting y'all know we can't be doing that. We not, we, we can't be doing that. And we're not gonna be doing that. So you know we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this platform the way it was ever since I started it. Respectful, uh, peaceful, and we're not gonna get out of pocket. We're not gonna be violating nobody. Uh, what you gonna call it? You know, for no reason. Period. And now if a motherfucker come on here out of pocket, I'm gonna violate their ass before you even get in the comments. Y'all know how I do. I don't give a fuck. You get disrespectful with, with me, I'm a whole nother motherfucker. I'm a whole nother person. All that positive shit go out the window. But as long as somebody come on here cool and they being respectful, we respectful. But with that being said, y'all have a beautiful night, family. <clears throat> I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. The Evolution Theory uh, exposed tomorrow at 1 p.m. If you believe you come from a monkey, then you probably believe you could turn into a fucking werewolf on a full moon, too. And so I hope that that's not what you believe. Do not let Charles Darwin fuck your life up. And with that being said, all right, uh, somebody said, can I discuss the meaning of life? Listen, I'm going to do a, a, a post in my story, and I'm going to ask y'all what comment, I mean, what topics do y'all want me to discuss on the live? And um, yeah, make sure you put that in there. And I'm going to start, you know, getting my live back uh, to this type of way where we had these discussions and I pull people on. I'm going to start doing the debates again and all that. I just had a couple motherfuckers' heads I had to crack. And exposed, but uh, you know, after this PowerPoint, we back to regularly, regularly uh, scheduled program. So once again, y'all have a beautiful night. Love y'all, family. Uh, you know, and I see y'all tomorrow at one p.m. Link is in the motherfucking uh, is in my bio on my YouTube page. I mean, excuse me, of my IG page as well as in the description of all my YouTube videos. And so, do not miss this live stream. It's available twenty four hours. All right, and it's gonna be on and pop it. I'm gonna be with the general Sara Su and Seti. So y'all know it ain't going to be nothing but fire. And with that being said, love y'all. Peace.